Drifting is regarded as one of the most challenging motorsports and it requires expert driving abilities. Drifting is a technique in which two drivers are practically in rhythm and in complete harmony with their vehicles, and it involves magnificent turns, inch-perfect cornering skills, and breathtaking speed and agility. Drifting is, of course, all about the driver's skill, but the car's make, handling abilities, and agility all play a factor in determining who becomes a champion drifter. Here's a list of some of the best sports cars for drifting out there, and make sure you stick around until the end, because the last one is basically a V8 Supra that you can buy on a budget. Number 12 is the Nissan 370Z. One of the best Japanese sports cars ever created is the Nissan 370Z. By all accounts, the street version is an average car with no distinguishing features. It comes with a V6 engine and it produces 328 horsepower, but despite this, the car has won multiple Formula Drift Championships with various drivers. So what's the secret? Well, the 370Z has a distinct advantage over other mainstream vehicles. It has a remarkable chassis balance that allows it to be fitted with nearly any type of engine and produce excellent drift results. The chassis of the car can handle the power of many engines, making it a highly sought after drift treasure. Number 11 is the E36 BMW M3. When it comes to car makers, few people can say no to German engineering, and this tiny drift-ready model is proof of that. This automobile defies time. It was released in the 1990s, yet thanks to its amazing drift DNA, it's still extremely relevant today. The car boasts great weight distribution, a low center of gravity, a limited slip differential, and a powerful six-cylinder engine that keeps the rear wheels rotating hard throughout a bend. The M3 possesses all the characteristics of a champion drifter. It's also one of BMW's M Division's best vehicles ever made. Number 10 is the Nissan S14 240SX. These compact Japanese cars are built with excellent weight distribution and are extremely adjustable, making them excellent drifting vehicles. The 240SX, on the other hand, comes with a large front hood that allows for several customization. With its tiny size, it also offers a very desired power to weight ratio. The 240SX boasts so many drifting features that almost every drifter in the Formula Drift circuit has either driven one or fantasized about owning one. Number 9 is the Ford Mustang. Now, the Ford Mustang is unquestionably America's favorite four-wheeled vehicle. The automobile is revered and has a cult following, so it can't go wrong. Almost every model, from the beginning of production to the present, is adored all over the world. This hysteria is backed up by excellent performance on virtually every track the Mustang visits. The Mustang's massive raw power quickly sets it apart from the competition as a drift car. You've got yourself a drift king when you combine raw power, rear-wheel drive, manual transmission, and outstanding handling. Number 8 is the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Another Japanese vehicle on this list demonstrates Japan's proclivity for generating master drifters, both drivers and machines. And this list wouldn't be complete without having a Miata on it. This time-defying vehicle is still quite valuable in basically all drift circles. Although it was first produced in 1989, it is still regularly used by many drifters in all major drift race contests. It's one of the most affordable sports cars on the used vehicle market, and it's also one of the most configurable. The MX-5 Miata is light and has a low center of gravity, which makes the ideal combination of qualities for a drift car. All it needs now is a little more power, which could be solved with a turbo. Number 7 is the Toyota Supra, and this is not a car that needs a turbo. The Toyota Supra, like many of the other cars on this list, appears to be timeless. The A80, or Mark IV, is the most sought after drift version, and it was introduced in the 1990s, yet it still commands an extremely high price on the present market. The Supra's compact frame houses a huge turbocharged straight six engine, and this engine is a bit infamous actually, it's called the 2JZ, and stock it produces around 320 horsepower, but if you upgrade the turbo and some of the internals, you can make basically up to 2,000 horsepower. As a result, the Supra's power to weight ratio can be quite high. And given the car's rear wheel drive and manual transmission, it's a safe bet to wager on this model whenever you see one at the drift track. Number six is the Chevrolet C6 Corvette. The Corvette is rapid, compact, powerful, and agile. The design of the Corvette C6 suggests that it may be quite a handful on the drift track. It's also one of the list's more track-ready vehicles because it's capable of drifting right out of the dealership. With 400 horsepower, the Corvette epitomizes the expression compact and powerful. When you combine this with outstanding handling and a sprint-ready transmission, you've got a burnout machine that will raise the roof at any drift race. Number five is the Lexus IS300. 
The Altezza, as it's known in racing circles in Japan, is perhaps the only car on this list with a lower power to weight ratio. The car, on the other hand, makes up for this shortcoming by being extremely configurable. Another benefit of the Lexus IS300 is that it's inexpensive and easily available, making it one of the easiest cars to convert and tune into a full-on drift car. It's bulky, yet it can be transformed into a fantastic drift machine, also featuring the same engine as the Supra, just without a turbo. Number 4 is the Nissan Skyline. Nissan's reputation as a capable drift car has never been questioned. With three Nissan vehicles on the list, it's clear that the Nissan is built with a well-balanced chassis that is ideal for drift racing. The Skyline is equipped with a powerful turbocharged inline-six engine that produces 280 horsepower. This is in addition to its outstanding frame and customizable character. This car is a drift demigod with a celebrity status at the drift track due to its well-distributed weight and great handling qualities. Number 3 is the Mazda RX-7. The Mazda RX-7 is making a lot of noise in the racing world for a 1990s coupe. The RX-7's Trek Paris is almost legendary and the current model of the vehicle is practically a premium brand that commands a massive price tag. At 5000 RPM, the RX-7's twin-turbo rotary engine produces 237 horsepower and 218 pound-feet of torque. The RX-7 is a great choice for drifters because it's quite adaptable and has a large aftermarket parts selection. Number 2 is the Toyota AE86 Corolla. The AE86 deserves credit for helping to shape drifting into the sport it is today. The car is most notable for being depicted in the Japanese manga slash anime Initial D, where it is driven by Takumi, a tofu delivery kid who drifts over the Akina mountain pass with tofu in his car. Kaichi Tsuchiya, widely known as the Drift King, is another well-known Haichu Roku owner, which is the nickname of this car. A front-mounted, naturally aspirated 4AGE, 1.6 liter inline 4 delivers 125 horsepower to the rear wheels via a limited slip differential. Prices have risen dramatically as a result of its cult popularity, and the Haichi Roku is now beyond reach for all but the wealthiest gearheads. This is a shame because this boxy, wedge-shaped car with its pop-up headlights is a lot of fun and very appealing. Number 1 is the Lexus SC400. The Lexus SC400 could be the ideal drift vehicle. The only criticism is that it may be a little on the heavier side, but this rear-wheel drive drift monster has a massive front-mounted 4.3 liter V8 engine that puts out close to 300 horsepower, so it's more than capable of going sideways. The best part is that it can be purchased for a few hundred dollars with even really clean specimens costing between $5,000 and $10,000. This automobile is so luxurious and sophisticated that it could easily double as a daily driver in addition to weekend track duties. So which is your ideal drift vehicle? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Vehicles TV, and we'll see you in the next one.